Hi, I'm Chloe. This is my combi van Delilah and we are going to take you on an adventure through our home city of Adelaide. We're going to eat great food, drink delicious drinks and explore from the hills to the ocean. Starting in the bustling city centre. Let's go. The first thing we did when we reached the big smoke was swap our combi van for these eco caddies. They're a carbon neutral, super cool way to cruise around the city. We did the street art tour and saw some amazing pieces, but they also do a stack of different tours, including city sites and one through the gardens and the river. And whichever one you do, you will learn so much about Adelaide and have an absolute ball. Even we learnt things and we live here. Then it was lunchtime, so we went to Bloom Winwood and got stuck in. This is an old tram barn and almost every dish here has an element of fire. So much local wine, so much goodness and the food, oh, it is so yummy and so plentiful. After lunch, we ventured even further west, all the way down to Port Adelaide, to Pirate Life. This place is just stacked with art and we grabbed some high vis and saw not only the art, but also did a really big tour of the brewery itself. It was super tangible. There was plenty of tasting and trying and it was so much fun. And then we got to have some drinks and some food and not only was all of that really good, the vibe was really good here. It's hard to put into words. You're just gonna have to come and see it for yourself. Trust me, you're going to love it. After that, we headed back into the city and stopped in at the Central Market, which is always so much fun, before we checked in at Hotel Indigo. Each room at the Hotel Indigo features an iconic South Australian festival poster. Because we're the festival state. After checking in, sussing out the pool and relaxing a little bit, we headed up to Merrymaker Bar, which is actually Adelaide's highest rooftop bar at the top of Hotel Indigo. I met some friends for drinks because it was work knockoff time and it was so much fun. And then the sun went down, we slept, the sun came up and it was time for brekkie at Market and Meander, the in-house cafe space. It was so delicious. And then it was time to go. Today, Let's go. The drive up took an hour and what a beautiful hour it was. It is so nice in the Adelaide Hills and it's hard to believe it's only an hour from the city. We've just arrived at Randall's Mill. This place was a flour mill in the early 19th century, but now it's a beautiful old home and an apartment loft and courtyard. Randall's Mill is tucked away in the heart of Gummaraka, a beautiful little town and how relaxing is this place. It would be so easy to while away a weekend here with someone that you love. If you get really, really lucky, you might even get to meet Sonny the Lamb and even luckier, you might get to give him a feed. Our stay at Randall's Mill has sadly come to an end. I wish we could stay here forever, but today we're off to Applewood Distillery. Applewoods in Gamaraka as well. And not only do I recommend trying as many delicious drinks as you can in the distillery door, I also recommend going for a tour of the distillery itself. It is so amazing to see all of the efforts in sustainability and creating such an amazing brand come to life. It was time to wave goodbye to the hills and swap these dirt roads for the bright lights of the city. And I mean it, we headed to Sky City, which has recently had a $330 million expansion. We started off with some delicious Italian food at ITL. You've got to get this dessert. And then we headed up a few stories to Seoul, which has some of the best views in the city and some of the best food and drinks too. I hope you've enjoyed coming along to see some of my favorite spots around here. Big thanks to Jetstar for making this trip happen. If you want to experience all that Adelaide has to offer too, make sure you head to jetstar.com. Thanks for watching.